Well, I would rank it near the top. Being one of the authors of it, maybe that's all I'm saying. On the other hand, I think it's been a major, major force both in the United States and throughout the world. I saw recently uh, an article that indicated that at least 70 other countries around the world have adopted a NEPA. And I think of the states, I think something like uh, 40 of the states have adopted a mini NEPA. Washington State was one of the earlier ones to do so. And part of that's, you know, waving the flag. I'm in favor of the environment and environmental quality. But not all of it. Part of it uh, is that NEPA is a force, even though it's not necessarily enforceable, uh, other than to go in and sue and say, you didn't do a EIS, or the EIS you did was inadequate. You can go to court on those grounds, but in terms of enforcing anything that's in the impact statement or one of the alternatives and making the government do it, you can't do that. So I think it's had... Uh, I think it's had a lot of uh, impacts. The industry is afraid of it to even today, although they've become very skilled, the oil industry certainly has, in how to do an impact statement and to keep themselves out of court. And uh, they're no longer doing 50 feet of shelf space for an EIS. They can get them down to you know, Webster-sized dictionary uh, to do them. But I think it's had all kinds of land conservation impacts. I think it's improved the quality of the work of many of these agencies, whether it's National Highway Agency or whether it's water resource agencies. So I think it's had a major, major effect.